Is there advice from your life that you can give to young people today, high school, college, you know, about their career or maybe about life in general? I'm not like a career coach by <laughs> life <laughs> coach, right? Like I'm definitely not a life coach. I don't have it all figured <laughs> out. But I think there's a um, there's a perpetual cycle of of um, you know, thinking that there is a, um, there's kind of like a template for success, mm -hmm. right? Maybe there is, but I, in my experience, I haven't seen it, right? Um, you know, I would say people in high school, right? Uh, so much of their focus is on getting straight A's, filling their CV with this and this and this so that it looks impressive, mm -hmm. right? Um, that, that is not, I think, a good way to optimize your life, right? Do the thing that fills your life with passion, do the thing that fills your life with with interest, and you know, do that perpetually, right? A straight A student, you know, is really impressive, but also, you know, somewhat boring, mm -hmm. right? So so I, I think you know, injection of more of that kind of um interest into into the lives of young people would go a long way in in just both upping their level of happiness and then just kind of ensuring that looking forward they are not suffering from a con, you know perpetual condition of oh I have to satisfy these like you know check boxes to to do well right because you can lose yourself in that whole process for the rest of your life. But it's nice if it's possible, like Max Tegmark was exceptionally good at this at MIT, mm -hmm. figure out how you can spend a small part of your percent of your efforts that such that your CV looks really impressive. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's no, like, without a doubt, like that's a, that's a baseline that you need to have. Um, you know, <laughs> and then spend so like spend most of your time doing like amazing things you're passionate about, but such that it uh, uh, kind of like Planet Nine produces objects that uh, that feed your CV <laughs> uh, like right. s slowly over time. So getting good grades in high school, maybe doing extracurricular activities, or or in terms of like you know for programmers that's producing code that you can show up on GitHub, like leaving traces like. Uh, throughout your efforts such that your CV looks impressive to the rest yeah. of the world. In fact, I mean, this is somewhat along the lines of what I'm talking about. See, like getting like good grades is important, but grades are not a tangible like product. Right. Like you cannot out, you know, show your A and, and have your A live a separate life from you. Code very much does, right? Um, music very much takes on, mm -hmm. you know, provided somebody else listens to it, right? <laughs> right? Provide, like takes on a life of its own. That's kind of what I mean, right? Doing doing stuff that uh, that can then s get separated from from you is is exceptionally it's attractive, right? It's like a, it's like a fun and- uh, it's an, And it's also very impressive to others. I think we're moving to a world where grades mean less and less like certifications mean less and less. Yeah. If you look at, especially again, in the computing fields, getting a degree, finishing your, um, uh, currently just get it, finishing your degree, whether it's bachelor's or master's mm -hmm. or PhD, is less important than the things you've actually put out into the world. Right, right. And that's a fascinating kind of, that's, a, that's great that in that sense, the meritocracy is, is in its richest, most beautiful form is, is starting to win out. Yeah, it's weird because like, uh, you know, my understanding, and I'm not like, I don't know the history of science well enough to to speak very confidently about this, but you know, the advisor of my advisor of my advisor from undergrad, um, like didn't have a PhD, right? So I think it was a more common thing back mm -hmm. in the day, even in uh, the academic sector to, you know, not have, you know, Faraday, like, Faraday didn't know algebra, mm -hmm. right? And drew diagrams about you know magnetic fields, and like his Faraday's law was derived entirely from intuition. So uh, it is interesting to to how the world of academia has evolved into a 
you got to do this and then get PhD, then you have to postdoc once and twice and maybe thrice and then like you you move on. So, you know, it does I do wonder, you know, if we're you know, if there's a better I think we're heading there, but it's a fascinating historical perspective, like that we might have just tried this whole thing out uh, for a while where we put a lot more emphasis on grades and certificates and um, degrees and all those kinds of things. I think the difference historically is like we can actually, using the internet, show off the show off ourselves and our creations better and better and more effectively, whether that's code or producing videos or all those kinds of things. That's right. Can become a certified drone pilot. <laughs> it's true. Of, learned, of all the th- of all yeah. the things you want to pick, yeah, for sure. <laughs> or you could just fly and make YouTube videos that gets hundreds of thousands of views with your drone and never getting a certificate. Um, <laughs> it's probably illegal. Don't do it.